pronunciation right, uh, Bhattacharya, who is the, was it almost correct? Oh, great. Uh, president of the Toronto Arts Council. So if you can come up to the stage as well. Thank you very much, Jamie, uh, and welcome. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. I think no one's been speaking quite right into it, uh, and I'm taller than everybody else. So uh, I wanted to say, first of all, a huge thank you for everyone uh, who came today. Uh, I have to say, when I was reflecting uh, earlier this morning when we arrived, uh, on behalf of the, the board of directors of the Friends of the Pan Empath, um, who are all here today, um, I'd like to give a bit of a shout out to them. Tenziel, Caitlin, Glenn, uh, and am I missing anyone? Uh, and Salim as well, uh, who are all here. Thank you for coming. Um, I was reflecting when I arrived that, um, you know, this is, this today is exactly what we wanted. When we were coming up with this idea a year and a half ago, and the Pan Empath was literally no more than a, some scratching on the back of uh, a coaster, this is the, exactly the kind of day that we were looking forward to, where the community comes out, great, fantastic arts organizations like Urban Arts are here to shine the best of the, on the light, uh, best light on their community. Uh, I was also absolutely flabbergasted at the, the uh, kind of coincidence that today is National Aboriginal Day. Uh, and also there's going to be a walk uh, by an Aboriginal community association on the newly constructed part of the path. So this is exactly what we wanted when we came together and said, you know, what can we do to come up with an idea that comes to, that brings the whole city together, gets everyone out enjoying the fabulous public spaces that we have, and really make sure that everyone is included, right? It's for everyone, it's free to use. There's so many different ways that you can be involved with the uh, Pan Am Path, whether you're walking, jogging, wheeling, bringing your kids, painting art, listening to a great performance, and this is only the beginning. This is step one of many that we hope uh, will continue all the way through 2015, but also far into the future. Uh, this is something I think that as the city of Toronto grows, becomes a true kind of urban world-class city that we need more of we need to make sure that we're engaging our citizens in our public spaces and I hope that this can be one of the the signature projects uh, that people look back on and say this is something that really created a sea change when it comes to the city of Toronto and people getting out into their uh, into their public space so apart from uh, from the board I have to say a couple of thank yous as well uh, first and foremost uh, to James Mears and Devin Ostrom uh, who are the the leaders of uh, the faithful leaders of this organization uh, and really the reason we're all standing here today. Uh, they have been with us since the very beginning and have taken it and absolutely run with it. Uh, just getting the path completed wasn't enough. We have, to, we have to go on and plan the programming from today all the way through 2015 and beyond. So look forward to many more announcements uh, on that subject coming up in the next year and a half. I also want to say thanks, of course, to our sponsors and supporters, uh, first and foremost, the City of Toronto, uh, who really saw the, the brilliance in the idea and, I, in fact, the simplicity of making just a few short connections to create this fabulous 84-kilometer long path. So I do want to, to pause and say a huge thanks to the City for having the foresight to believe in this, uh, this idea. And I have with me today uh, two of our uh, supporters who will say a few words. Uh, first, uh, for on behalf of the Ontario Trillium uh, Foundation, I'll, I'll ask Laura to say a few words, and then we'll we'll turn it over to Nova to say a few words on the from the Toronto Arts Council. Laura. Well, thank you, thank you very much, and it's uh, truly a pleasure for me to be here and to be part of this exciting day, an exciting day for the city of Toronto, uh, for the people of York Southwestern, but for the province in, in general, uh, with the opening of the first section of uh, the Pan Am Path. Uh, and uh, I want to say that with this path, as it's been mentioned, the legacy that will be left will be tremendous, and it will be to the benefit to the, of the people of Toronto and all our different neighborhoods. This path is innovative, is diverse, and it's an inspiring blend of physical activity, the arts, and discovery. So I'm so pleased that uh, part of the eventual 84 kilometer path is going through our riding of York Southwestern because this is a great way for residents and for tourists alike to discover all the many different neighborhoods that we have in the city. And it's also fitting because Western is the home of the bicycle. That's what it's known as. So today I am here as the spokesperson uh, for uh, the Ontario Trillium uh, Foundation and I have the pleasure of highlighting the funding given to this project by the OTF. 
Now, for anyone who is unfamiliar with the foundation, it is an agency of the government of Ontario uh, through the Ministry of uh, Tourism, Culture and Sport. And for over 30 years, it has been investing in the nonprofit sector across Ontario. And in fact, I'm proud to say that the foundation is Canada's leading grant making found, uh, foundation. And using the funds that it receives from the province, OTF is focused on helping communities, uh, making them even healthier and vibrant places for everyone to live in. So today I'm happy to formally congratulate the Friends of the Pan Am Path and Manifesto Community Projects on receiving a two-year $430,000 grant from OTS province-wide granting stream. And the funds will be used to hire staff and partner with the city and uh, local arts organization, sports and recreation groups. And together, they will be initiating arts projects and public participation programs all along the Pan Am path. So the legacy of this path lies in uh, increased economic development in the Greater Toronto Area, in increased uh, culture, tourism, connecting Toronto's trails, our neighborhoods, and they will have 15 sites where local organizations will create projects highlighting their own communities for the Pan Am Games, but making um, these games meaningful at the local level. And I think that that's, that is the most important thing. So thank you for having me. I'm thrilled to be here with all of you. And good luck. Thank you, Laura. And uh, I do want to just underscore again that uh, without the generous support of the Ontario Trilling Foundation and the Toronto Arts Council, as well as the city and many of our other partners, we wouldn't be here today. Um, so I do want to introduce as well Nova, who will speak a little bit about um, the Toronto Arts Council's involvement uh, in the fabulous culture uh, and arts programming that you saw a sneak preview of today. Uh, so without further ado, Nova. Hi there. I'm, I'm happy to be here representing the Toronto Arts Council and personally as an artist it's super exciting to be here. This is going to rock. Um, to, celebrating the launch of the Pan Am Path is, is a fabulous thing. The path will be a living and active legacy to the Pan Am and Para Pan Am Games, a legacy that celebrates the diversity in the communities that make Toronto the amazing world-class city it is today. Huge congratulations to Devin Ostrom, James Jen Mears, the board and the staff who have made the dream of the path a reality. By connecting our vast city through art, culture and nature, you are invigorating neighborhoods in a way that truly captures Jane Jacobs' concept of city building. Congratulations. <laughs> 2015 is an opportunity for us to celebrate not only our distinguished athletes, but Toronto's vibrant community, which continues to evolve in tune with a changing city. Our artists are a huge part of who we are. As the city grows, it's an exciting time for our artists and cultural institutions and for the Toronto Arts Council. As we respond to the changing, innovative and collaborative cultural landscape, we are finding new ways to open doors to ideas and voices that represent Toronto today. This year, the Toronto Arts Council celebrates our 40th anniversary, which is as much a celebration of our artists and future goals as it is a celebration of our collective accomplishments. Thank you all for being here today and for playing a part in the positive development of Toronto. Thanks very much. Just a few uh, uh, comments before we, uh, before we uh, activate the path formally by walking and biking. Uh, just the partners that we have here today, the Trillium Foundation, the City Support, uh, it's just a great example of, uh, of how we can all work together to make this kind of, uh, of infrastructure a reality and, uh, and a great positive legacy to games. So I'd like to thank um, uh, everyone for bringing the Pan Am Path to light and especially the friends of the Pan Am Perth, the Path, uh, Urban Arts, uh, James Walk, who's here, I'm going to talk about James Walk in a second. Uh, Bike Share Toronto is here, you see the bikes over there. Uh, yeah, the Trillium Foundation, the Toronto Arts Council, Transportation Division, the City of Toronto, our own Parks, Forestry and Recreation staff, City Council, City Councillors, uh, MPs, MPPs who are here today, thank you for participating. So before we, before we go to do the ribbon cutting, we do want to get everybody out using the path, so there's a few options for you. 
Uh, you may have brought your own bike. You may need a bike to borrow. So Bike Share is here. You can see the bikes just, just over there. Uh, you'll have to uh, sign them out. You'll have to bring them back uh, by, by about 12.30, I think. Uh, the path that we're going to, for bikers, it's about 35 minutes out, 35 minutes back. You can, you can turn back at any time and make it as long or as short as you want it to be, so go at your own pace. It's going to be a guided bike tour. We also have Denise Bin Pinto, who is the Global Director for Jane's Walk. Denise, are you here? Uh, right there. And Denise is going to be leading a walking tour with information focusing on the Western Mount Dennis community. So you can also walk the path as well. So all kinds of ways to participate, and I encourage you to do that. Thanks again. If everyone, especially the podium party, can, if we can go over to the ribbon cutting, which is over there, we're going to do that right now. And uh, uh, please, everybody join us uh, for this ribbon cutting. It's a great thing. Thanks very much. So this is the first unofficial official walk of the path, right? Yeah. 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 It no, feels this is great. the old path. <laughs> this is the old, old path. This is anticlimactic. You should get it. We're about to get there. Just keep on You want on that? Us. You want that? No, no, no. Trail end? Trail end. Aha. Uh -huh. It's like... Wait, wait, wait. And then turn around. Yeah, that one. Get that one. Okay, so this is the path. Aha. This is the theme right here. I feel very different. Okay. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> hang on. We're ready. Open your hand. Okay, now we're going to go back. Okay. Five. One, two, three. Okay, harder. Harder. Oh, harder. Well, I know, you know, baby, everything I say 
Meet me in the country for a day. We'll be happy. We'll dance. Then that your blues away. Such a fake cut. You're like looking at the camera and cutting. Okay, I'm good. Um, I was going to do the...